Hi everyone, back here for another quick video and today let's have a look on how to use the Pebble Mouse with the iPad. What I have here is the iPad Air 3. So the Pebble Mouse, this one, it's usually bundled with the K380 keyboard but it can also be used separately. There are two ways to connect the M350 Pebble Mouse. One is by Bluetooth and the other one is using the USB receiver uh, and not connecting by Bluetooth. So let's have a quick look on how to do that here in this video. So to connect by Bluetooth, first obviously we need to turn on Bluetooth on the iPad and once we have it on, we can turn on the mouse and press and hold on this button to turn on pairing mode. And so we will see here now the Pebble name. I don't know why there's two, but let's choose the second one. And now it will ask me to pair, and now it's connected. As you see here, it's now fully connected. So now let's have a look on how to connect this by using just the USB receiver. So let's turn the Bluetooth off, and then we will take the USB receiver that's in here in the mouse. And obviously to connect this USB receiver, we will need an adapter. And what I have here is a cheap adapter that I got in Lazada that has different ports. So we'll connect it on the iPad and plug in the USB receiver of the Logitech Pebble Mouse. And now, as you can see, it's already on, but we need to press here to show that it's green and it means it's connected. So now it's moving and connected even if Bluetooth is turned off. Now let's quickly have a look on some of the gestures that we could do on the mouse. First off, to go to the home screen, slide down and it will bring you to the home screen. Now if you want to go to the app switcher, you could hold on a bit slower and that will bring up the app switcher. Again, slide down to go back to the home screen. Next, to go to the notification center, go and swipe up to the top, and then you could scroll around and open up the notifications. And to go back to the home screen again, swipe down. To go to the control center, swipe to the top right, and it will bring up the notification center and you can hover over the options and press and hold to see what options you will have in each of the features here. And to adjust, let's say the brightness or the volume, again, go over the, vol uh, the brightness control, for example, and then simply click and swipe up and down to adjust. And same with the volume. And to go back to the home screen, simply click anywhere, or you could also do a quick swipe down to go back to the home screen. Other options that you could do to go and swipe in different home pages is to click and scroll, or you could click on the small buttons here. Now to do multitasking, let's say you want to do a split screen, then first you need to show the dock and so you can pull up other apps and drag it on as a split screen. So for example, here I will drag the YouTube app and put it on the side of the Chrome app. And if I want to adjust, I can click in the middle to adjust the size. Or if I want to close down one of the apps, again, I can swipe and close close it whether on the left side or the right side. Now if I want to put a slide over screen that's floating over one app, what I can do is again slide down a bit to show the dock. As you see it's picking when you slowly s slide down. Then you can drag an app and just release and that will be the slide over screen. I can move it on what's on either side, whether left or right, by dragging it, dragging this small bar on the top. And if I want to hide it, simply slide 
to the right and it will be hit, hidden and if you want to pull it out again just swipe right and it will be showing then to close everything and go back to the home screen again just swipe down lastly just to show you how the scrolling is and i think this is pretty similar to most of the logitech mice and it's not as smooth as using an apple uh, mouse magic mouse or the trackpad so as you see here it's a bit stuttering but i mean it's not an issue and it's very usable and if you want to go back to the top you can pull the mouse on top of the of the screen and tap and it will bring you back on the top of the page so one last thing about the scrolling as you see here when i scroll down my mouse the scroll wheel it also goes down now in in the in case yours is doing the opposite then you need to change that in the trackpad settings and you need to check the natural scrolling if it's turned on then it means it will mimic what the finger is doing so when i go back here now if i want to go down i have to scroll the scroll wheel up instead of down So again, turn this off, and so when you use the scroll wheel, it is doing as it's following the direction that you're moving the scroll wheel mouse. So hope this video is helpful, and that's it. Thanks for watching.